I sort of had a very strong idea of who the character was, and you know, and I was nervous about pitching it to him because Vin's characters are, are often strong alpha males who are very confident and the one step ahead of everybody else. And Bloodshot obviously is not that. He's still as physically formidable as some of Vin's other characters, but and even more so actually once he's imbued with the sort of abilities that RST gives him. Uh, but from an emotional standpoint, he's very vulnerable. Like he's being manipulated. He doesn't know who he is. He's broken. So you know, I pitched that is the version of who he is, and he was genuinely excited about being something he hadn't been for a while. Um, so I knew we were off to a good start then, because that was the biggest, I thought, you know, the biggest point about the the character that I needed to get across, and he was on board from day one. That idea of. Uh, of manipulation through technology is something very sort of uh, pervasive in today's sort of society. And I, and I think from that aspect, it is universal in who it appeals to. Sure, we, you know, we have the action and the drama and everything like that, but the idea of sort of um, our sort of lives being controlled through technology um, is very, very uh, relative to, to what's happening today. I mean, everything from social media to news to like, you know, whether you Google the answer to the question or GPS told you where to go, or whether you swipe to left or right on Tinder, like technology curates certain parts of our lives for us and presents choices. I had this tunnel sequence in my mind for years and to seeing that, you know, building that set, seeing it stage, seeing the, you know, Ben do what he does in there. That was a pretty, pretty special moment because it, like, I think you always, allow for some level of like we may not achieve as much as like I had imagined it being and I think we surpassed that which is nice this is pretty great feeling to you know look at your concept art look at your previs and then to be sort of have have the final product like surpass that in every way is pretty special everyone from Asa Gonzalez to Guy Pierce to Sam Hewing to Toby Kebble I mean I even remember just the, like the day they like John called me and he's like, Toby Kebble's interested in, in playing acts. It was I'm a massive Toby Kebble fan, so I was like, I didn't, you know, it was it was a there were many wonderful moments of, of that.